All right, so it looks like over here uh, you guys have a lot of SSDs. So uh, yes. can you walk us through what you guys have? It looks like a one terabyte SSD. Yeah, now. this is all pre-production. You know, we wanted mm -hmm. to show this at CES. All this will be available pretty much Q1 into Q2. You know, the first one is our first terabyte SATA, right? And so mm -hmm. one terabyte SATA, two and a half inch, um, it's really excited about, you know, we've had um, the up to 512 gig for quite a while now. Yep. And we've had a lot of customer feedback wanting us to do a terabyte. Mm -hmm. This will be more in our, in our, our V series, right? And so mm -hmm. kind of our value entry level SSD line. So good performance, you'll see kind of read and write speeds up in the 500s. Yep. We're doing this with Faison, uh, the controller mm -hmm. company, and Toshiba NAND. So really, really happy about that. And again, this is that same nook. Yep. One of the things that Intel is doing with the Nook is kind of cool is that they're enabling both an M SATA now and a two and a half inch, right? Mm -hmm. So you could go M SATA, maybe a hard drive. You know, I'm a flash guy. I'd rather that you do all SSD, of mm -hmm. course. But yeah. uh, same thing there. So our 480 gig M SATA SSD that will be available uh, probably in the March time frame. Okay. We'll have this out on the market. So and, and this uh, one terabyte SSD? I'd say in the same time, time frame, frame, probably late March? February and early okay. March. Yeah, that's right. our target. So. Any prices or possible? You know, with a terabyte, I think if you look at where Crucial and Samsung is right now, we'll probably be in that neighborhood. Yeah, okay. yeah. and so I All think right. that's where we'll be. The so 480 gig, pricing definitely. And that's kind of where we are. If you look mm -hmm. at our V-series line now, it is our entry level kind of cost effective SSD. Mm -hmm. That's our price leader. That's where the terabyte will be. So if you look at the other ones, we'll be in that neighborhood. Okay. And 480 gig, uh, about the same as well? Or? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And so that one was neat. Um, our friends at Micron, again, I mentioned, were able to help us enable yeah. that. And so that L85 was interesting. Man, yeah. L85 at 128 gigabits. So each mm -hmm. die has 128 gigabits packed mm -hmm. into there. And so it's an eight stack. Believe yep. it or not, and uh, wow. and we go in there. If a lot you guys, of capacity. Yeah, if you remember the chip. the Predator USB drive that we do, the one terabyte USB. Yeah. Really same technology, Micron mm -hmm. L eighty five in a, in an ODP stack. So. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. really cool. And over here, it looks like you guys have an Our, all new PCIe for exactly. the first time. Yes. Yeah. LSI's, LSI's 3700 controller. Okay. Um, this is a proto, so again, interested in what, you're, what you guys think about the, the spreader. Um, mm -hmm. you know, we just turned this about two or three weeks ago, but it'll be something like this. Yeah. Our, our PCIe uh, drives will probably be both in the HyperX line and kind of in our Enterprise line, our E-Series, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And so, um, you know, definitely you have a benchmark we're showing there, it's iometer. Yeah. Looks um, like you guys are pushing 1,800 mega, uh, 1,806 megabytes yeah. a second, so even higher than 1,800 megabytes. Exactly. Second. Yeah, I mean, if you look at this, mm -hmm. is a, a Gen 2 by 4, right? So yep. Gen 2, I've got 500 megabytes per lane, times four mm -hmm. lanes is 2,000 yep. megabytes, so we're almost so, stuffing it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're very Only close to Only about like 200 uh, megabytes uh, a second of overhead. Definitely. Like. Better yeah, IOPS. Our yeah. target IOPS are about 150,000. Yep. Target write speeds are probably being like 1,200 megabytes a second. So, mm -hmm. you know, another way to yep. add SSDs, if you look at it, this is it running right here. It's nice yep. and clean, right? No mm -hmm. cables, you know, no power, no SATA cables. And so really, yep. really cool. We're, we're happy about that one. Very awesome. And yeah. over here, it looks like you guys have a M.2 form factor. M.2 PCIe, uh, yeah, PCIe. definitely. Same kind of thing there, right? And so, um, again, these are protos, but mm -hmm. uh, I would expect these out and kind of in, in the first half of this year, by the, by the uh, probably by Computex is what we're trying to, what we're targeting. And okay. So, so M about like the June time frame. Yep. M.2 mm -hmm. is coming. You know, I mean, you know, we yeah. know it's going to be on the Broadwell platform, you know, yep. from Intel. Um, and so we're, we're really happy about that. And again, you know, now when you get your motherboard, you've got options, right? You can go two and a half inch SATA, right? Mm -hmm. You can go PCI, PCI Express, yeah. yeah. And we're going by four with this, not by two, right? And so uh -huh. really the same bandwidth that this guy has. Yeah, except in, in right. that small little form. Exactly, factor. it's going to be available there. I'd say capacity's there based on the different designs, probably up to a terabyte is what we're able to do. On, a, on the M.2? Yeah, yeah, a little bit longer. Wow. This is the 2280. Mm -hmm. yep. The 22110 will be you know, 30, mil, 30 millimeters longer. That'll enable us to get down, down there. Again, we'll need 120 gigabit NAND to mm -hmm. do that. Yeah. But um, yeah, up to terabyte probably on there. So. With an 1800 megabyte per second. Yeah, it'd be kind of fun. Yep. <laughs> yeah, 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 make awesome. your notebook go faster. <laughs> and again, I think we're, you're going to see M.2 yep. sockets on the desktop boards as well. Yep, so. very soon. Yeah. OK. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to show us or? No, no. I okay. mean, I'd say the Sounds biggest thing it. is thank you, you know, custom yeah. PC. You Great. guys rock. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And uh, check back in for more CES 2014 coverage.